up everybody? Zow. Welcome to a great Friday stream ahead of us here. I'm already sweating. Holy crap. It's so weird sweating this close to December. Day after Thanksgiving over here, although they don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but we did by eating a duck. It's very juicy. I want to eat some more. But instead today we're going to some shows. Some expo shows. Uh, I was wanting to drive to the new expo center. I've mentioned this a few times. But the weather report this morning said Thunderstorms like all day, but now it looks okay. So now I'm gonna do. I don't know. It'll probably come in again. It only does the So it'd be a little bit too dangerous to go that far on a scooter because I have no way to protect the camera and stream in the rain. So we're going to a different place, which is fine because it has multiple shows going on. Probably this is too back for a different one on Sunday. Cheese cheese! Thank you, cheese cheese! It's got a 41 month sub. Wow, thank you, cheese cheese. Ooh, first sub. Feeling a little bit better. It's taken me all week to let my body heal. But feeling Gucci today bit more energy without coffee. Finally. Thanks for waiting on me though. Sometimes it's tough. Back to normal now though. And I'm gonna get a quick little piece of toast here. Head over to the nearby Adventure Center. 15 minutes. Can't deny the AC in here it feels great. I, yeah, the same. Thanks. I don't want some of that pie. You think they have? I wonder. Did you hear that? She asked me if I wanted the same. She know how popular I am here. I'm just kidding. What's that song go? Do you ever go where everyone knows your name? Uh, boy, 47 months on the turkey. CJ, you going to try and watch the Michigan Ohio State game Saturday? I am not trying anything. I'm sure you guys will have fun now. Mm, I don't know if there's like a bar here where you could go watch it. But probably not. They care more about soccer. And maybe NFL? Definitely not U.S. College. Uh, so many expats here. Maybe you could find a small place. We're gonna stream and set. Oh, that's why I missed it. 
not connected on Bluetooth. You won't be able to see it? Okay. Yeah, I know it'll be good though. I got the update on the Thanksgiving phone call. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> People here care way, way more about FIFA. Also, which I have not watched a single game. So, I just don't know how. Not that I would. Just been sleeping. Except really, really hardcore resting. Probably the most since. <laughs> Since I was in quarantine in Taipei, I would say. How crazy is it that Japan beat Germany? I don't know. Is that crazy? My aunt always said it's good to understand and know everything about going on sports because you can talk about it with people in the work office. Otherwise, you have nothing to talk about. Especially with my generation gap. I've always worked with people like, way, way older than me. I just don't follow. I can tell you about esports, though. Which. I hate the name. I hate saying esports. It's 35% cringe in my brain to say that word. No, oh, guys, let's play some esports tonight. Ah, I see. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. have you noticed though? Is it like a generation thing? Maybe not in all situations. I dated a girl who's super into soccer now. We would go out to the bar at four in the morning to watch the games because that's just the time zone. Mm -hmm. Especially for football though. Very much a generation. I always wondered if it's because it was easier to get into the top universities. Um, 40 years ago, whatever. So like everyone and their mom either went to Michigan or Michigan State, right? There's not like many other places you might hear from someone's parents. But nowadays, it could be anywhere. And they're so hard to get into. So it's like, did you watch the MSU game? No. I didn't go to that school, so I don't really care. Kind of thing. There's probably more rivalry and camaraderie than more community thing. So now we got this like generational gap. People who they pay attention to different things. Well, I've been to a lot of games. I've been to many, many games of all flavors. I just don't 
have it in my blood, like my parents and my aunts and uncles would have it. Die hard. I went to a D2 school, so it was not very exciting. And we would, I would drive my, my like, dorm mates to a University of Michigan football game. And go there together, but not go to our own games. Just because they were not interested, I guess. Despite our school being number one in its division. Planning a vacation trip back to the stage? No. I'm not. It's hard for me to go there right now or go anywhere right now. Because I'm trying extremely hard to start a legitimate incorporated business here in Thailand related to the stream and broadcasting. For that reason, I have to stay nearby. I'm going to Japan, however, next month for three weeks. So hopefully it's not too much of a distraction. But it's still easier to do that than go all the way back. The reason is because if I want to re-enter Thailand, I need permission from the kingdom to come back on my current visa. So I have to like go apply to leave and get permission. Another one goes to Japan. I lived there for two years. I've had girlfriends and friends there. How can you compare that to anyone going there for clout on a one week trip? It's not the same. Oh yeah, you've probably been in overdrive with the weddings kicking back in. Dang. I'm sure it picked up big time. Mmm, okay. Well. I had a hard time streaming this week synopsis. My wrists, my hands are very sore and sprained from punching. I have to punch people three times a week. So I'm just really trying to change my visa. Until then, I have to keep punching. About halfway through December, taking the stream to Japan. So I was saving to do that. We'll be there for Christmas and New Year's. So we'll see fireworks. And plan to make a trip to Tokyo despite being based in all summer. Then back here. And then hopefully by that point, can start renting commercial space. I have to be approved, I have to be incorporated to do that first. In some cases. Fun before we like to make a trip. That's what everyone says. That's what everyone says. 
In my opinion, it's a little bit overrated as a dream fairyland. But it's good. Definitely. It's not what people think of. Living there is different. I get to see Abby for like maybe one or two days. You see Abby right before she leaves. She's been hanging on with everything she has to stay there as long as possible. And she finally can't stay any longer due to the visa. Oh man, this time one year ago, we were actually streaming in West Michigan because I was with my family for Thanksgiving there. I just got an update on my phone. That's great. This time a year ago, I had just gone back to the States from Japan after two years. I just got there. A lot has happened since then. That was when we hung out with Frank. That was when we streamed on 5G sometimes. Streamed from the car. Family likes to go party in Tokyo with their former war buddies. Really? No, you just made that up. There's not many people left in the war still. <laughs> we probably won't see snow this year unless there's a freak one day in Osaka or Tokyo. But I was thinking this morning. And don't hold this against me. I'm going to enjoy the cold in Japan for three weeks. I decided officially this morning. But only for three weeks. However, I am going to enjoy it. I'm fucking tired of sitting in my apartment and sweating to death even when the AC is on at night time. I don't keep it that cold because, you know, I got hit by some really big electricity bills, so I try to be conservative. But I will actually enjoy just like giving the body a relaxing moment. You know what I'm gonna do next time? And it, next time might be in two months is just rent a smaller place. Just get a smaller condo or a smaller room set up where you can keep it like a refrigerator in a smaller space. I got too many windows, too much open space in the main living room. It connects to like the kitchen and stuff. Where it's not really energy efficient. I'm actually just gonna rent smaller. But I'll be okay with that if we have somewhere else to go to downtown, like an office. Square footage right now is 50 square meters. 50 meters squared. That's like 256 square feet. 
But you wanted the window for the natural light. Uh, yeah, I've, I've decided that's a bad idea too. Because it's too hot. Unless your windows are facing north. Windows facing north are great. Windows facing any noisy, busy road are bad. But my unit is very, very quiet because I face north. It's a learning experience over here, but it's a really big deal. You don't realize how extreme it is until like, you've actually been there for a month. That apartment KL was cool to get something like that. I think where I live now is the closest thing you can find within distance to a train station or right here the main the biggest most important train station and they pack the ETS sky train that's why i'm here that's why i picked it i know you would you would like it and it would be good to like have people over but people don't come over because bangkok is so fucking big It's just not convenient for other people. There's some really, really nice luxury style to like rainforest, tropical playground back that way. And we checked it out, but it was flooding. The streets were flooding. It's kind of a long walk from the train. And like, are you really going to walk through knee deep water going home and back for three months? That's why those places don't make the list. So there's not like tons of picks. I think I'm still in like right here. Maybe. I gotta ask about it. The only natural light I like is to drink. Oh, Natty Light? I like that Natty Ice Light? Okay. I heard that stuff was disgusting. Natural Ice? Light? Or are you talking about Bud Light? My mom loves Bud Light. Bud Light all day. Show up to a craft beer bar in Bangkok. I'll have a Bud Light. You have a what? You can go home. I don't know this lady. It was funny reading the comments about Budweiser since FIFA ruled at the last second or someone did that they, they couldn't drink at FIFA event. So they've got all this Budweiser they were going to sell there. But now Budweiser said they're going to give it away to the winning country. But some people thought that was more of a punishment. They are saying they should give the Budweiser to the, the losing country and make them drink it. Because <laughs> no one's going to want it. Can you imagine if Germany won and then they sent all that Budweiser to Germany? Like the land of good tasting beer? What would they respond to? They might feel insulted, to be honest. I would be. That's all just part of getting older, right? It's just part of getting older, experiencing better things. <laughs> and traveling and having better beers and you realize, oh, this tastes better. 
But if you never leave Indiana and you work in the cornfields and you drink Budweiser all day and you're 35 years old right now, you, you just won't understand that there are better things in life. can't take away their Budweiser. If USA beats England, they have to call it soccer. If USA beats England, does the Budweiser come back to America? <laughs> That would be great. But the Wiser spent a ton of money to ship all the beer to Qatar and then just has to ship it back to Rick. Might as well. The Americans would enjoy it the most. The Budweiser. It was funny a couple times to try it in like Taipei. I forget if you can find it here. I don't even know. Drinking food selection from a convenience source in Thailand is definitely weird. weird. A little bit weird. It takes some uh, getting used to. You have, you have to like change your habits of what you eat and drink. why like I've had more soju being here than anything else because when you go out to a bar maybe there's no like bartender there's no mixed drinks at so so many places it's just dark beer or bottles of soju and I usually don't want a nasty tasting beer so soju is there a Taiwanese beer? No. Thanksgiving been? Uh, good. We ate a duck. Now we're gonna go to some shows in like two minutes. I'm just enjoying my coffee. It's so much cooler in here. Oh my god. I can't wait, man. I honestly can't wait. January is going to be a really good month, I think. TikTok uploads from yesterday to make sure they didn't get flagged or something. Look good enough. One point six K views on my fifteen second YouTube short upload about Pokemon on the journey. Nineteen hours ago. That's decent.
Hopefully it can drive some traffic to this stream. There's no proof right now that it does though. I guess this all worked out because it'd be freezing in Taipei. Um, it's a little bit chilly there now. It's not bad yet. But yeah, you're right. It's definitely warmer here. It gets cold there for sure. Gotta wear your winter coat because the humidity is high during winter there. So like 50 degrees plus 90% humidity makes it kind of an awkward you're freezing inside your coat too. Right? You kind of get used to it. But you're right. It's much more of a paradise. I think that's why there's way more expats, right? It's more of a paradise. And package from AliExpress said shit, but says awaiting seller dispatch for like four days. Oh. I wouldn't, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't put too much thought to that. You've seen like all the issues they're having with the, the corona like restrictions there, man. I don't think it's just Foxconn. I think it's at a lot of places. And I think that could be a big reason, man. People are starting to get upset finally. And just, thank God they're, they're doing something good for them. Man. But I saw some of the videos. It's it's crazy in China right now. I wonder if Apple's gonna have to respond to that kind of stuff because like their their corporate numbers are like really tied to people's lives there. That doesn't look good, but the West at the same time probably doesn't care. <clears throat> so like the Foxconn factory, one of, one of them, which is just like this city built for building iPhones. They handle like 50% of the world's iPhones in this one factory city. It's been like shut down and the workers were in really bad conditions while trying to keep COVID numbers at zero, and it just hasn't let up since three years ago. And so people are trying to escape and like leave the factory area, but, but the government's not letting them leave. So they started rioting, and people in hazmat suits were beating the workers with batons, like police officers. So, because a bunch of workers left, Foxconn went out and offered people higher than normal bonuses to re-sign and work for the company. And so they just went back to the factory recently. But then Foxconn didn't pay them the money, so the workers felt cheated. So now they've been rioting again. And Foxconn is the number one supplier for building Apple's iPhones. So, uh, I think it's only just now picking up traction in like US national news. But kind of scary that like Apple is somehow okay with that. But I think we've we heard from since a while ago that they've been trying to move factories elsewhere or build factories elsewhere like Southeast Asia and get out of China. I think they're trying to get out and I think most businesses are trying to get out. But uh, they're reliant on Foxconn there because they handle most of the volume of the world's items. That's why your package is slow coming out of China because of stuff like that happening everywhere in China, not just Foxconn. That's why 
even if we could, we wouldn't want to travel to China right now as a foreign national because what if you got sick while you're there? They're gonna trap you in a small room with other sick people for a couple months. Like, we would want to go through that. Right? So that's why the people are revolting. Fine. Speaking of, I opened TikTok and it's like the first thing on my feed. <laughs> Somehow, uh, Chinese TikTok started leaking out to Western TikTok and there's two different TikTok platforms if you didn't know. There's the Chinese one and then there's the one that the rest of the world uses. And so like these Chinese only videos have started been started posting on the Western one recently. These didn't normally pop up. Uh, I finished watching Andor last night for my Thanksgiving dinner movie. Andor, the TV series. I want to say it's my favorite series of the decade. I don't think anything will top it for a long time. And it's probably going to be very difficult for them to remain as good as they are continuing. It's, it's that good. I think I have some other news. Other than Nade Shot complaining about being over 30 years old and having wrist and hand pain from playing Warzone with a controller. In Thailand news, Chinese nationals abduct other Chinese men for ransom. A lot of weird things involving Chinese nationals are happening in Thailand recently. A Chinese woman stabbed a fellow Chinese woman to death in the bathroom at a shopping mall in Bangkok, Thailand this afternoon. It's not happening to like Western American or British Expats. It's usually involving Chinese people. I've noticed that. I guess that's what the headlines are. I don't know. Maybe they're crazy. Maybe they escape the Foxconn factory and have some kind of mutated, make them go crazy loco. Shit. I don't know. But they're crazy. Most of like the bizarre stories are coming out of Pattaya, or you might say Pattaya, in terms of like people getting robbed abducted. I don't like hear reports on it or see it as much are happening in Bangkok. It's just like you say patia? Oh.
I I pronounce things the Thai way now. Yeah. I didn't used to, and now I do, and it's become a habit. need to learn a tie. Yeah, I have a book to learn it. I can't wait to make time. One of these days when I have fixed income, I'll make time to read and study. Black Friday sales. We only saw some clothes at the mall, but I haven't been outside since we streamed last time. I haven't left my bed, so I haven't. I wouldn't know where to go to like find out. Maybe we have to go to the tech mall, which I need to go anyway. Maybe to have them look at my DJI wireless mic setup to see if they have an idea on how to charge it while using it. I wasn't planning on going there today because it's already noon and we're going to the, the shows. But maybe could go there Sunday. Sonic game. Oh, cool. Yeah, the Sonic is great. Nice job. Let's see what's going on. Um, enjoying feeling like a normal human again, man. It doesn't feel like Friday, but I think it's Friday. We have a pool party tomorrow again, remind you. I bought us a ticket. They're a little expensive, but some people might like to see it. I do want a different one. It'll be Latin music themed. I also got a ticket for one later in December that's Psy Trance techno theme. So I think that'll be fun. I'm gonna call a night stream though because I'm not gonna tie it in to the daytime stream due to people not showing up till like 5 p.m.
Oh, now it looks like it's gonna rain again. That's too bad. I wanted to see the other expo center, kind of. I don't think I ever see you dance on stream. Oh, you can check my Instagram, TikTok for our dance video with Maylee on there. People in America would be like still busy. So they are not.
I don't know if two people is enough, but it could be. I've got a bigger army. my turkey head today too. I wasn't sure if it was past expiration. It'd still be okay. Roughly like a combined 26, 
7,000 juice for a level 13 player. Oh, okay. Let me heal up too. I'll do one more. Probably need everything we got. see so many people here. Rallies up. to walk around and not be dead, not be a zombie, not be a zombie crusher. I guess that means I can go to Muay Thai today. Deals on uh, IT purchases and stuff I, I was reading about. So it could just be people coming to buy stuff. What's up, TikTok? Welcome to Bitech Convention Center. I think there's about four shows going on today and throughout the weekend. Right here at Bangna BTS Station. If you get bored, go across the street to a pretty big temple in the village. Maybe this is the Black Friday sales. Tech work, maybe. It's Friday, right?
Sara já. Photo Fair 2022, that way. I can use some new cameras. Create your content. Okay. That's like a refrigerator in here. <laughs> I see Republic of Gamers. Sounds like a rock band. Oh look, it's puzzles and survival, real life. <laughs> I think you have to like show your receipt that you bought something and then you get to play it. Advice the way of gaming? Advice the way? I think that's grammatically correct. Game on? Bye gamers. Bye gamers. Girls in poofy dresses. Poofy! Poofy! Baby, poofy! It's Black Friday! Hey, it's like Best Buy. In a convention center. Wow, cool. I'm using my lavalier mic again today just for fun. I was just gonna ask if it's cutting out. Maybe I don't use it. Or it's coming unplugged. No, it's plugged in. Or there's interference. Whoa. I missed those cosplays. You got a five-star shark from that run? What? It sounds like interference. Unfortunately, Wireless devices until you hit the $700 range share the same frequency as like routers. They use the same bands. I don't know whose bright idea was that, so they're not immune to interference. Wow, nice job, Fru. We actually beat that layer. Holy crap. I got a four-star card. <laughs> Alternatively, I could try unplugging the lavalier part and just see if it's like the mic or the transmitter, but I wanna think it's not the mic.
We've never tested it outside, except for a little bit yesterday. So. Oh, it's I see some LEDs. Let's see if there's actually sales, or if this is just like one big promotion of no sales. This chair for a hundred dollars. I mean. I kind of like the look of that one. Razor. For gamers, by gamers. Mmm. It's like $80 off, kind of. Um, that's weird. This one's only seven thousand. Born to gamer. Are you born to gamer? I was born to gamer. Someone take my picture. I love these grammatically incorrect branded chairs. It makes me feel like I'm getting a deal on uh, Chinese copy. Holy shit, this case is big. Oh. That's a full tower. The Rob Strix Helios. That's so many cases, man. See how heavy it is. Oh, oh, fuck that. It's 50 pounds. Yeah, okay. Um, how much? It doesn't say the price. More than you can afford that. Oh, is this one of the ones I was going to get? I think I was considering that one. These thermal takes. Because these are the only ones big enough to like water cool 3080 Ti. You need massive oversize. This case is so fat. Here we go. Some pretty colors. Take a video. How much is the graphics RTX 4090? Sixteen hundred dollars. Or are you asking me? <laughs> hey, at least you can come try the chair before you buy it. That's an advantage. 
think he's this thing. You're from Korea, okay. Well, the price for those cards are the same in every country. It's not less. If anything, it might even be more. Is there a PC in here? Considering this one, and then we were wondering, where is the case airflow? It has one fan. And their CPU is 33, 34. What's the average price on those chairs? Two hundred dollars. This case might work. I forget for water cooling at thirty eight. It's like a new one, it's too small. It's not a Ford series, you know what I mean? The Fords go all the way out to like here. <laughs> asking him the price because it's going to be the same. Right, but... oh, I think it's right there. There's a lot of money on this shelf. Jesus. I feel like you can really custom build uh, whatever you want. You came here right now. It looks like they got everything to do it for you. Oh, there we go. This was gonna go in the OBS Stream PC, 3070 Ti. I'm considering not water cooling anymore. There's the size of the 48. It's definitely bigger. Hi. How much are the 4090s? 4090? 90? I know. We're just going to go air cooling. God damn it. I won't go water cooling until I have passed it. Uh, MSI, that's the only one, yeah? Okay. MSI... Seven, eight, nine hundred. 
seven eight nine hundred. Seven eight nine hundred? Seven thousand eight hundred ninety baht. Oh, wait. Oh, nine hundred. Seven. Seven eight nine hundred. Ah. Uh, that was for the forty ninety. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So me, MSI, Gigabyte. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have like ROG? Is there a ROG one? Strix? Gigabyte? Sure. Me and Sword. Uh-huh. $500 more here than it does in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ASO for $76,900. $500 difference, it would probably be cheaper for me to go fly to Detroit for Thanksgiving, visit family, buy all the parts I need, put them in my luggage, and then fly them back here in my carry-on. <laughs> If you're shopping a graphics card, this is the number one place to find the biggest diversity in three and four thousand branded cards. Because if you go to the tech mall, they only have one maker. I think I've seen four different ones here. Can we get this 
this router for the streamer campaign?
Let's see if there's any other bakers. This is the case you need to water cool your 3080 Ti. Wait. Is it? No, I don't think this one's big enough either. I think you need the 7 series. This is the 51. Yeah. It's so big though. D 
DJI. Oh, finally they can fix my mic. had a screen on his back. I will ask him why it sounds like helicopters. Maybe Sunday though. I think it'll take too long to get there right now. It'll put us all to sleep on the train. Do like an hour. Oh, maybe 45 minutes. for this. It has a 2060 and an i7. It's still better than what I got. GPU has a 2060. Why are these behind glass? Good cost effective and space saving machine for cafe. Oh shit, looks like there's a blood. CJ Frazy. This is the Intel swag. If you're sponsored, you have to wear that. There are a lot of staff in this building today. Hi, Meili. What's going on? Okay. No issues with the stream. We're good. For gamers, by gamers. Mm -hmm. 
Any Black Friday sales? No. Just looking. That's not the FPS keyboard, is it? We tested all the keyboards in Japan. was the best keyboard. Oh, okay. Wow, it's like um, that, that one show. That was kind of a bust this year. And no one went to it. Except the president of Taiwan. having an overclocking competition with himself. Kind of cool. Ooh. You know what? Pretty good selection of chairs, actually. Much easier to shop chairs here than going to the mall. <laughs> Seems good. Okay. As Ozark, but why? Thank you for the tier one sub. I think that's a new sub. Welcome to, what do we call ourselves now? I might have a new name. New PC built incoming? Mm. Whoa, holy Fucking sideways, this is huge. Okay, that's not a radiator. They just put six fans up top. <laughs> I think that's the radiator in the bottom. And then there's one on the side.
it's a 3080. Okay. New PC built incoming? No. I need a place to put it first. I'm not gonna buy it without a place to put it. I would love to have one of these tables though. These things are awesome. Really big. I just remembered, it's kind of like my setup, except I don't even have a monitor right now. I've been streaming and gaming on this size screen uh, for the past year. My living room? No. The internet at my place is too bad without a business line. I'm not even gonna gonna bother. The true cable line hasn't worked the past three three days, so I would just buy a PC and not have internet to use it on. This guy will help pick up my chips after an Andor watching session. Nom, 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 nom. And I don't need a dog. Nom, nom, nom. I only have two monitors. I should have 10 by now in this modern day. Wow. Well, that's two more than me. You're doing good. Still no overclock with all those fans. No, you need water cooling, man. It's just to make it look pretty. Hmm, kind of busy over here. Oh, cashier. Ah, nubwo chairs. These ones are always the cheapest. Nubwo. Does this have arms? This is under a hundred dollars. That's not like terrible. It looks okay too. Clean my carpet. I am. It's hanging on my balcony to dry, but then it got wet from the typhoon that came by and it collapsed my whole drying rack and now it's still wet. stuff. Subscribe for free with Twitch Prime. Huh. Oh. These look special. These are 
they're good. No macro keys though. What if you're an MMO player? What am I gonna do? Am I the only one who needs their G keys? It's satisfying though. I'm sure it's expensive. Let's see. Uh, 4,200. Scary lights. <laughs> really? Showgirls holding up memory RAM in the air? It's my favorite part of the show. ทีมซีวีอินเทลที่รับรองว่าเร็วแล้วก็แรงด้วยนะคะโดยส่วนตรงนี้ถ้าเกิดว่าท่านไหนอยากจะทดลองนะคะเล่นใช้งานตัวของ
ําแต้มให้คุณได้มากแต่ถ้าเพื่อนเป็นภาระเหมือนกันนะคะก็ช่วยไม่ได้นะคะก็เลือกเอาว่าจะให้เพื่อนต่อยหรือว่าเราจะต่อยเองค่ะอันนี้ก็เป็นกิมมิกนะคะเพื่อความสนุกสนานมากขึ้นสำหรับทุกคนเลยนะคะที่วันนี้ไปเล่นเกมต่อยมวยวันพลังค่ะแล้วไปทําแต้มให้ตามที่เรากําหนดไว้รับกระบอกน้ำสวยๆลายลิมิเต็ดจากทางออฟไลน์ค่ะแล้วมาถึงโซนทางด้านนี้นะคะเผื่อว่าท่านใดวันนี้เล็งอยู่แล้วอยากจะซื้อโน้ตบุ๊กออยวันพีซีคอมพิวเตอร์ประกอบที่ใช้งานด้วย CPU ของ Intel ค่ะเดี๋ยวเมย์จะพาทุกท่านไปรู้จักกับแต่ละโซนว่ามีอะไรกันบ้างตามไปเลยค่ะสำหรับโซนแรกตรงนี้นะคะเป็นเซตคอมพิวเตอร์ประกอบค่ะจากทาง iWise s i n t e l ซึ่งมีหลายสเปคหลายฟังก์ชันให้คุณได้เลือกช็อปเลือกใช้งานกันนะคะอย่างตัวนี้เนี่ยถือว่าเป็นตัวโหดเลยนะคะที่คุณสามารถใช้งานด้วย CPU จากทาง Intel Core i7 กับในรุ่นของ iWise Intel i141 ค่ะซึ่งรุ่นนี้จะมาพร้อมคอ i7 ไม่พอตัวแรมนะคะเป็นแรม3ามสิบสองกิกบิตต่อหน้าจัดจอ RTX 4 0 8 0และคุณค่ะยังจะสามารถเป็นเจ้าของนะคะจากปกติราคา 130,000 บาทแต่งานครั้งนี้นะคะแอดไวท์ค่ะจัดราคาพิเศษให้เหลือ1 4 0 0 0 0บาทเท่านั้นนะคะซื้อในแคทันทีนะคะกับของแถมเยอะมากค่ะกว่า8รายการเลยจะเป็นตัวมาสเตอร์ดิสแคทกระเป๋าสวยๆจากตัวมาสเตอร์หรือว่าจะเป็นตัวของเอ่อ Intel Security นะคะจาก Intel Security และมี Asus Keyboard m o u s นะคะชาร์จเก่งนี่มีของแถมเป็น Asus h e a d s e t ชาร์จ X3 ค่ะและของแถมจากทาง Intel Gaming Mouse แทน Like numbers on the screen, because no one can tell what the fuck they're doing. Right, right. From the Chamber Tech, right, and there is a new combination lock from the BUD. It's a new one from the BUD. Oh, it's a lot. If you're interested in this one, the spec grand, use it for a long time. You can use it with Advice Intel. Another one, right, is that you want to get it. คอมเซ็ตแบบเบาๆสบายกระเป๋านะคะงานครั้งนี้ค่ะเราก็จัดให้ในราคา 20,000 ต้นๆนะคะ 20,900 บาทกับรุ่นของ a d v i c e Intel i 1 3 2รุ่นนี้นะคะจะใช้งานด้วย CPU Intel Core i 3การจอ RTX 3050ค่ะแรกที่ผมมีราศีนะคะคุณสามารถเป็นเจ้าของในราคา 2,900 บาทจากปกติ 27,900 บาทค่ะซื้อในงานนี้เราแถมฟรีให้ทันทีนะคะเป็นเอาท์แพดนะคะแล้วก็มีตัวของ ROG Pack มี Internet Security ซื้อยืมสื้อจาก Intel กว่าเติมน้ำมันมูลค่ากว่า300บาทด้วยแถมให้สำหรับทุกค้าในงานครั้งนี้เลยแต่ถ้าคุณสนใจนะคะซื้อจะเป็นรุ่นใดก็แล้วแต่นกปุ๊กโอนวันพีซีคอมพิวเตอร์ประกอบนะคะซื้อในงานนี้สามารถเลือกผ่อนได้สูงเปอร์เซ็นต์งานสูงถึง36เดือนอีกทั้งถ้าซื้อเป็นตัวของคอมพิวเตอร์ประกอบที่ใช้ด้วย CPU ของ Intel ในทุกๆรุ่นเรามีของสำหรับคุณจากทาง Intel นะคะมอบให้เยอะมากเลยอย่างเช่นถ้าคุณซื้อตัวที่เป็น CPU Intel Core i9 processor ค่ะรับฟรีทันทีนะคะกับเสื้อหูสวยๆจาก Intel แบบ Limited Edition หรือถ้าเป็น Intel Core i7 เราทำให้ฟรีทันทีเลยนะคะ Gaming Mouse Pad Intel ขอไอหน้ารับกระเป๋าลิมิเต็ดไปเลยนะคะเป็นกระเป๋าลงของด้วยและถ้าเกิดว่าคุณนะคะซื้อเป็นตัวอินเทอร์คอไอสหรือเป็นตัวอินเทอร์เซเลรอนนะคะอินเทอร์เพนเทียมรับฟรีทันทีเสื้อยืดสวยๆค่ะจากทางอินเทลนะคะเฉพาะงานนี้เท่านั้นที่เราแจกให้ลูกค้าทุกท่านค่ะมาถึงโซนโน้ตบุ๊กกันบ้างนะคะวันนี้โน้ตบุ๊กก็มีจากหลากหลายแบรนด์เลยนะคะที่คุณได้เลือกช็อปกับการใช้งานด้วย CPU Intel อย่างทางด้านของ MSI ครั้งนี้นะคะทาง MSI ก็นำโน้ตบุ๊กนะคะมาหลากหลายรุ่นหลากหลายสเปคการใช้งานค่ะขออนุญาตแนะนำนะคะสักหนึ่งรุ่นละกันรุ่นนี้เนี่ยลดราคาเยอะมากๆซึ่งลดไปกว่า 12,000 บาทค่ะกับรุ่นของตัว MSI B 1 2 UE นะคะโดยคุณสามารถใช้งานด้วยการจอ Intel Core i 3060และใช้งานด้วย CPU ของทาง Intel Core i 7ค่ะมี Windows 11 Home ให้ใช้งานเรียบร้อย Storage ถึง1 TB มีวารันตีให้2ปีเต็มราคาปกติ 59,990 บาทแต่อย่างที่บอกค่ะลดไปกว่า 12,000 บาทเหลือเพียงแค่ 47,990 บาทเท่านั้นนะคะและยังมีของแถมในงานให้กับคุณด้วยใครสนใจโน้ตบุ๊กจากเอ็นเอสไนะคะมาเลือกชมกันได้เลยค่ะและอีกหนึ่งแบรนด์นะคะกับทาง a c e r วันนี้ a c e r ก็คัดสรรโน้ตบุ๊กมาหลายรุ่นมีตั้งแต่ตัวเริ่มต้นราคาเบาๆนะ
คะไปจนถึงสเปคที่สามารถใช้งานได้อย่างครอบคลุมค่ะอย่างตัวนี้นะคะเป็นตัวกลางเลยนะคะกับ Acer a s p i r ซึ่งตัวนี้จะเป็น AV 1 5 5 1ใช้งานด้วย CPU Intel Core i7 นะคะแล้วก็ RAM อยู่ที่16 g ิก DDR4 ค่ะแล้วก็ Storage นะคะ512ถ้าคุณนะคะซื้อในงานนี้ราคาพิเศษจะอยู่ที่ 24,900 บาทสามารถผ่อนได้มีของแถมจากทาง a c e r และทาง Intel มอบให้ด้วยค่ะนอกจากนี้ยังมีโน้ตบุ๊กจากทาง HP Dell Lenovo และ ASUS นะคะที่นำโน้ตบุ๊กมาหลากหลายฟังก์ชันการใช้งานค่ะไปเลือกชอปกันได้ถ้าไม่ทราบสอบถามข้อมูลจากทางทีมงานได้เลยนะคะวันนี้เนี่ยมีพี่ๆ Intel คอยแนะนำทางด้านนี้อยู่แล้วหรือว่าใครสนใจรุ่นอื่นๆนะคะโซนอื่นๆก็จะมีกับโซนของทางด้านคุณมาสเตอร์เอสแอดไว้ด้วยนะคะหรือว่าจะเป็นตัวของทาง Ad ไว้นะคะที่ทำกับโซนของอุปกรณ์เกมมิกเกอร์ค่ะ Oh thank God I can hear again แต่โซนตัวนี้แหละเขาสงสัยเลยว่าโซนตัวนี้คืออะไรนะคะอันนี้เราจะเป็นตะลุยตรงไหนด้วยเหรอมีแต่ว่าเป็นข้อถามเลยโซนนี้เป็นโซนของเฟอร์รี่โรสค่ะหลายท่านอาจจะเคยเห็นหน้าหน้าตากับเฟอร์รี่โรสมาแล้วเออ Get off the wall. You're gonna dent it. Oh, book out, book out, book out.
lot of screaming. No, I think she's just talking normal, but the volume is so loud. And it's like echoing. It's just extremely loud volume. The vet team. Oh, he's the manager. He manages the ladies. Booth names powered by Intel. Uh, they have i9s inside them. Oh, it's their friends in the fluffy dresses. Hello, friends. They kiss each other as they go by. All the showgirls know each other. <coughs> Maybe you can ask to get that girl's job in the black mask to make sure- What? Oh, you're talking to Toasty. <laughs> what? These- these might be fanbots. Have you seen that series on, uh, Netflix? I think it's in Russian, maybe? Or something like that? Something Eastern European, maybe? And uh, it's this company, and he has these really sexy robot girls, but like one of them goes against the algorithm to like kill people or something, maybe? Kind of an interesting series on the flicks, if you're bored. Some video on Discord, Instagram, and Facebook. Here we go. Find something else. They'll be here all day if you're interested. It's their job. It's their job to sell Intel swag. this table? This is this? Yeah. Yeah. That what? $17.99. Wow. Delivery <clears> fee. <throat> okay. Okay. It's a good price for a table. Probably because they're nub low. <laughs> this one's bigger. It's like 50 bucks for a table. Can't find cheaper than that out here. I would get it. The time's not right. They got nothing on the beaches and hot tub category on Twitch. Um, do they not? I don't know. I think these girls are more pretty. The girls on Twitch aren't always, you know, fit. The girls here are more fit. How fit really can you be if you're streaming from your bedroom all day? Switch 
stuff. Oh my god, I see the new Pokemons! CJ calling Twitch thoughts that? You heard it here first. I need to get to the fucking gym! God damn it. Oh! There we go. I just picked up two copies of Scarlet and one by it. Did they fix the bugs? Hey. What? It's an OLED Pokemon version. Oh, I've not seen that yet. Copy scanner, actually. <clears throat> I've needed one a few times now. I hear scary music. Can we go back to the techno room one more time? Wow, was that a stream server? Going to find the music. Drawing my attention. Hello, ladies. Oh, yeah, I bet it is sold out there. That stuff doesn't seem to sell out in Asia. America, everyone gets it. Thank you. 
่ของฟิวส์ได้เลยเพราะว่าเรามีทั้งอุปกรณ์ไอทีแบบครบวงจรเลยทีเดียวค่ะไม่ว่าจะเป็นในเรื่องของคอมพิวเตอร์นอตบุ๊กอุปกรณ์เกมวิเคราะห์ฮาร์ดดีไอวายคอมเซ็ตวันนี้เรามีกันพร้อมเลยทีเดียวค่ะและเราขายถูกที่สุดในงานอีกด้วยนะคะเพราะวันนี้เรายังมีโปรโมชั่นและของแถมด้วยกันทุกท่านอีกเพื่อเป็นทีเดียวค่ะก็ว่าก่อนอื่นนะคะก่อนที่ทุกท่านเนี่ยจะมาเราความรู้กันหรือว่ามาทัวร์อาณาจักรของแท้ซอยกันขออนุญาตพระราชสมบัติกันก่อนเลยดีกว่าวันนี้แอดวานซ์ของเรานะคะสังเกตเห็นไหมว่าในแต่ละสูตรที่มีโลโก้ของแอดวานซ์ทางด้านบนจะมีรถบอดี้วอลในนั้นจอดอยู่ภายในบูธไม่ว่าจะเป็นรถยนต์หรือว่ารถโทรศัพท์ในงานหรือว่ารถจีนทางด้านบนเนี่ยเราก็มีเหมือนกันเนาะวันนี้เรามีกิจกรรมมาให้ร่วมสนุกกันค่ะรุ่นรับของรางวัลใหญ่ส่งท้ายไปปีกับแอดวานซ์
wants a Nerf gun. I just got an alert from my apartment. Got a little septic tank pumping. <laughs> we have a septic tank? Oh my, what a big 
เยอะเยอะนะThe IT show, not the photo show. I think, like I said, a whole bunch of different events going on in this building throughout the weekend. Some of them don't even start until tomorrow. Which is why I'll probably come back Sunday because tomorrow will be busy on the other side of the city for a cosplay contest and pool party.
cooler is kind of cool. See what's down here. Software fair. Have I decided what PC specs I want? No, I have not. We picked out the graphics cards, though. That's it. So, okay, photo fair is down this way. It's gonna be hard for the photo fair to top that one. A 3070 Ti for the streaming box and a 3080 Ti for the gaming box and video rendering. Spider-Man chair. Or is it Spoderman? Kind of looks like a Spoder man. Because it's derpy. Two? Yeah, we're running a business, man. This isn't a family PC. This is 4090 on it. Look, we got all the makers. Oh shit. No, there was one more in there that we saw. We saw the Asus cards in there too. So that means we've seen eight different 4090 makers here. Wow. So that's why you want to come here if you're actually gonna build today. <laughs> and don't care so much about price because the tech malls in Thailand don't have this kind of variety in one place. You can really shop it here. Susie. 
It looks like you can get free swag if you buy stuff, maybe. Which one's best? Uh, I think you want to go with everything Asus and Strix if you can. Don't quote me. I haven't built a computer in nine years, so. Where is the EVGA? It must have gotten held up in that Foxconn factory in China. That's why they closed it. That's why no more. What's a Strix? I don't know, it sounds like something from The Witcher. Just look for Asus Strix. Here, Asus ROG Strix 4090 on Lozada. Right there. 90,000 baht. But you said you wanted the best one. So it's gonna cost more. Ninety thousand. That's so over MSRP. I I feel like we could fly to a different country, kind of nearby, and buy it cheaper. Like anywhere. Like, just fly to Taipei, fly to Japan. <laughs> you can fly to Japan for $650 round trip and buy the card and still save $50 rather than buying it here. Or maybe you just get it shipped internationally. Well, no, you'll get hit by import taxes, though. Tommy's getting hungry. We're gonna go to the show first, though. I never tried the cafeteria here. Maybe you can try that after this.
Welcome Chip Talk to the Photo Fair 2022 for the hybrid graphic craft and creativity. That sounds like your thing. Register? I wonder. Okay, maybe not. That's a nice light. Holy shit, that light's huge. Do we put that in the streamer lounge or is it too big? Oh! There we go. <laughs> okay. Wait. Go to the one of Is this gonna print it? I can't I can't slide. Which the other one. Oh god, I think it's gonna print it. Oh, maybe you have to put in money. I, I can't read it. Hopefully people resist the urge. Uh, yeah. I don't see it happening. Gamers are just sitting at home with nothing to do. How can they resist? That's a big light. Holy crap. Oh, this for the streamer studio. God damn. One of these days. This is movie quality. Makes it look better than real life. They have a tough for 74K. Oh, okay. That's probably all right. I didn't check the exact price for that one. I think these are better than what I got. These are higher end, for sure. <laughs> cool. These ones are actually really small. Be a nice set to get. 
if you need multiple people mic'd up to the same receiver. Ask if I can test them. Oh, they probably wouldn't let me. I can't buy it though right now. I see food trucks. Fancy printers. Damn. This is one part of technology I'll never understand how it works. It's really amazing. I'm sure a printer like that costs a billion dollars. What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> Strix only has two to five if he has more than tough. Oh. There you go. Maybe not worth. I'm not gonna notice. Speaking of FPS, some guy asked me while I was at the cafe if I was going to do a Valheim mod pack update. I totally forgot to respond to him. I got distracted. Oh, they're printing these like fabric printed banner things. That's cool. Insane. Anyone like burgers?
my god. Lamb, ostrich, deer, shrimp, go. Hi. Can I have the lamb wrap? This one? This one? Yeah. Kebab or burger? Kebab or burger? Uh... 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 What? Uh, this is a kebab. Is a oh, kebab, kebab, yeah, kebab. kebab. Yeah, the lamb one. Lamb kebab. This one? Yeah. 99 bucks. I'll have a water too. One water. What? One water, yeah. Ninety-nine bucks. That's with one water. Oh. It is. Yeah. No, no, no the kebab plus one water. Yeah. Drink water, this one. Yeah, yeah. One hundred and nine bucks. 109. Okay. You can buy another side look fine too and are cheaper. You're right. Does it really matter? It's kind of just bragging rights at the end of the day. You can still play your game the same. I guess MSI has the lowest scoring cards. Perhaps. If you do spreadsheet comparisons. Sun's update come developing. Guess they haven't given up on developing it. No, but I'm pretty sure it can't be better than what the guy has already made. So, like, I don't even know if I want to go back and update the game right now because then this lens is just going to come out and break it. So, like, Sort of a lost cause with something that has so much potential. Because it's a job to keep it running. Even though I want to do it anyway. We played the real hard mode. No one's played anything harder than what we already created. Shit. Maybe... I don't know. Like, do you think there'll be a way when they come out with the Mistlands to run the modded version on a new server and not have the actual game generate it? Because 
it's not going to be a challenge compared to what we've already done. People just don't know, but... Yeah. I want hard, fun games. It's too easy. I get bored playing easy games. I like a challenge. What we made was perfect. Really good balance. Just performance issues to the wazoo. My laptop can't run it. Ask big camera if they have any action cams for sale. You're looking at Black Friday sales, but don't need any more shit. Ah, oh, right. Mm. I can't buy anything now either, but. What is a good idea is just buying Christmas gifts now for other people. And get the deals for your gifts. If that's something you have to do, and then it's done. Uh, I'm kind of limited to whatever is available on Amazon. And even then, like, I can't really rap or give it to anybody, so. Uh, I don't know. Probably, for me, better just to send a couple things from Thailand and say, hello, here's some keychains and shit. from Ailey? Nothing. She's got a boyfriend to buy stuff for. She's got sugar daddies. Wow. Erlina rated my stream with 266 viewers. Wow. Raiders in the house. Oh, water. Water. The man forgot the, the juice water. Erelina, how are you? I saw you having trouble getting your music published and sold. It sounds like a headache. Sorry you have to deal with the scammers. We are at IT Tech Buying Show. We saw some presentations. Now we're at the camera side having lunch. And if you don't know her yet, there's her channel. You can follow her. My good streamer friend with 58 billion followers. Also with a Ko-Fi link. Nice. Let's check out her top clip of the past 30 days. Oh, it's 
it's just your Halloween costume. Yeah. You have a nice setup now in Vegas. Thank you. Um, my schedule has been inconsistent this week as my way to survive in Thailand has been fighting. I'm a professional fighter now, so my wrists and hands and body is, uh, actually, I'm going to take this one. It's not wet. Deep, deep pain. Let's see if this thing's any good. I got, what did I get? I got a lamb, lamb kebab. My wrist hurts so bad, it's almost as if I was the 30 year old plus gamer who plays COD with the controller. Need an eight shot. I don't know, do you guys actually eat kangaroo kebabs in Australia? Is that a thing? Maybe it just doesn't taste as good. Mm. 
So good. Oh, that's it. Oh, thank you. Mm. Mm. That was actually super tasty. I want to eat two more and rewatch the last two episodes of Andor. I need to tell them to drive their truck by my house. We need better eats and cheaper eats like this. Oh, I totally skipped over the Korean street food truck. Oh no. <clears throat> Red Bull's gonna be upset. <clears throat> is that my first time having a kebab in Thailand? I think it is. Whoa, whoa, what are these? Pornhub drinks? TikTok? <clears throat> oh, cosplayer, it's Miku. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> doing with the flag what's that for do you work for a company I like your hair Zelda match tier one sub thank you Piperino 59 months Whoa. tier one sub Zelda match just subscribed Thank you. Thank you. All right, have fun. I think they're looking for a photo spot. Insta X camera, the digital one.
more of the same Sam. These are okay prices, I guess. Not bad. Oh. I have not seen a light like that. Damn, 5,000. Wireless mics and the big mics. Nice. Hi, how's it going? Mixer has a nice finish. Favorite neighborhoods to live in for three months in BKK? Um, well, if you're going degenerate mode, Kaosan. If you're going mm, digital nomad mode, anywhere east of Asso Station. If you're raising a family here for three months, uh, maybe go Thornbury. If you're going luxury mode, long low. Sorry, too far. Mm. For me, yes. But if you like don't do anything other than your remote laptop work, then it's fine. is about as close as you can live to Siam and still have everything you need and be able to walk. So if living by Siam is something that interests you, then okay. It doesn't interest me because so much of it is just, wow, that quality. Jesus. Is that 4K, sir? Is this 4K? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, Siam is a good place to meet up with friends for, like, some kind of dining. But if you're not dining, like, you usually want to avoid that place. But at least you can kind of, like, hang out outside in Siam. And Ari as well has the little shopping area that's part outside, so it's 
more comfortable than polluted Sukhumvit, where there's no outdoor area except for where I live. Anu area is nice and only a few steps from Asu. I mean, I don't think Anu is actually nice at all. It just has the convenience of a grocery store and a mall and affordability because there's a billion condos right there. Environment wise, it's not nice. Actually, because you can't go outside anywhere. If you're going to ever go outside, you will be taking the train somewhere else. But if you're staying short term, that might be the best you can do for rentals. Farther west of there, it could get too expensive for short term. But it depends. Yeah, it's kind of the best you could do. Like the best I could afford was Bong Chak. This is just one station from it. Same with a lot of other แสงสีสวยสมจริงจนช่างภาพมืออาชีพของเรานะคะยังต้องยอมรับเลยยังไม่ค่อยควรเสียงดีเนี่ยจากเมาโน่ค่ะค่ะตั้งกล้องพันแ
headphones to listen the audio. Yeah. We also have like different uh, audio mode like mono, stereo. Okay, hold on. Ah. Uh, have the safe track. The safe track is to protect your audio when if like there is a uh, like some extreme situations there is a boom so you can reduce the volume to make sure your audio can still work right and you also have the okay the the phone mode the camera mode and whatsoever and, and stereo mode yes ah. that's how it works nice yes and we also have like different colors so the okay. black one and this is the not the headphones of us but we could like plug in here oh like, i see yes yes yes, yeah. yes and what's more this one is the uh the product we just released like last month ago last month mm. this one is designed for the iphone the uh, the lightning connector is has got the certification from the apple company MFI certification, so you can check it on the Apple company. What's more, you can download an app in your app store. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, sorry, and it has a noise cancellation feature. Just click this one button. Yes, and for this one, you also can transmit around 200 meters. It is a long distance, but there are so many interference right here. There so, is, there is. Yes, so. <laughs> But you can still transmit at least, like I would like to say, 12 meters. That's enough for we to like to recording the video. Right. And yes, this one is very interesting. And also got a Lux M1. Mm. These products are still is compatible with the phone cameras and PC, just like this one. But this one is much more simple because it does not have the screen. Just plug into the phone with the cable, 3.5 to Lightning or 3.5 to the uh, like Type C or 3.5 to 3.5. That's how it works. Also have the noise cancellation features. I see. Yes. yes. And has the same uh, working time, eight hours. Uh, the same, yeah, eight hours of working time, and can charge for 2.5 times. Can you use oh, that man. in something? Yes, you can use it in something. Of course, you can. This one can. Like <laughs> M1. Yeah. Oh, I'd like yes. to try that one actually. Yeah, actually, uh, may I know where are you from? US. US. Yeah. We have the office in the US. Okay. Yes, in US. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I moved to Bangkok a few months ago. Okay. But you, uh, most you, of my viewers are in the US uh, too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, repeat from beginning. <laughs> if you would like to stay, and another product, the intercom system. Oh. So, uh, for this intercom system, it is for the team production. So, if you are having a team doing the live streaming or something like that, different camera positions, right? So, yeah. there are directors or the people behind the stage need to like push the or shape switch the camera's positions so you need the communications so it is impossible for you to yell out this one and this one this one so you need a uh, tool to communicate and this is how it works okay so for this one you do not need any cables or any bell packs on your back on here oh you don't need anything else no not anything else and it has the batteries inside here just like oh that's cool that's cool turn it on you turn it and put it out it's big and when you pull it out it is muted is it muted and for this one it could connect it to seven devices <laughs> <laughs> thank you and it has the hard versions and the without hard versions with the hub we can see there there is a hub you can change other features like set the group and also like have the broadcast functions and it also can help you to connect with more devices it can support up to 27 to communicate like and 27 headsets yes and um, for like 20, 24 of them is wireless without any cable but oh. three of them need to connect to the oh okay yeah oh, this you, one is okay. the cable one Yes, yeah. and this is how it works. And you can see from this like pictures wow. here, this is what we're doing things. So in front of the screen, in front of the phone, if you are filmmakers or studio, video really creator, good. yeah, studio, you can search Holy Land in the web. Yeah, I believe 
You will be satisfied with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. we want to start a studio, so we'll check out your stuff. Yes. Okay. Cool. See you. Thank you, man. It was great. Yeah. Bye. -bye. <laughs> I actually really want to try the wireless one. It's a much like better buy-in price too. And then can I take a picture? Sure, sure. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, yeah. Yep. Okay. Goodbye, friend. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thanks, man. Good job. Bye bye. Uh, let's see, so that was 5000 for the mini wireless set. It might have like a little fewer options than the one I'm using now, but it could still be good enough because you don't always need everything. It just depends what you're using it for. Like the iPhone specific one, if that's all you're using and you're streaming from an iPhone, then like it's perfect because it's not that three, four hundred dollar price tag. When are we interviewing with the models? Oh, they know Inglando. Andrew Tate told me not to date models. So I don't talk to them. You didn't even flex your Chinese? Oh, I forgot. Shit. All right. His English was perfect, though. Didn't have to. <laughs> Who's Henry Tate? Uh, you don't want to know. Just a very annoying personality. One of several people who were originally banned on Twitter for their comments. Do you really speak Chinese? Really? I do. But only a little bit. Only enough to talk to my girlfriend. And barely. Joy from Osaka? No, like Ashley. And Nina. But yeah, Joy too. <clears throat> I guess we don't speak that much English together. Oh, this is the travel show. Right. I'm supposed to come back in here. I'll do it on Sunday. I learned Chinese for Rita. I learned Chinese so I don't have to speak to Rita. <laughs> she only speaks Valley English. I 
got to cut through here anyway, so I'm just going to go through. Unless you want to slice the pizza down there. the same show. Oh my god. This is the power buy. Like appliances. Jelly from Taipei. I'm pretty sure Jelly went to jail in Russia and then Putin sent her to the army. She's out there in the forest somewhere. Rip Jelly. Goodbye, Jelly. Hold on, I'm cutting through here. Jelly is Russian, yeah. Actually, it was her roommate that went to jail. Because her roommate threw all her belongings out the window to the ground below. Like a crazy person. It's the MSI girls. Buy an MSI 4090 today. Unless you're seven, then he says don't. I just came over here for the techno music. I get changed. Oh. Almost got that one, I think. the glow sticks. Pull out the Jaeger. We're going to the club.
God, there's someone up there. Oh. It's like a dining area. I hope CJ can pay his rent with the ad revenue for ads every 10 minutes. Um, it depends on the length of the ad. But yeah, this month it is running every 10 minutes, isn't it? I was going to change it next month to once every 30 minutes, but then it's going to be three minutes of ads every 30 minutes. I didn't know what to do. Thank you. If so, hi. But yes, yes, the ad revenue does pay the rent. Still cranking it. I got a 1060M on my laptop, somewhere down there. loud sounds. Should I go find it? Oh, here's the Asus Tough Gaming Cards.
Is this the crew too? Maybe it's the crew too. That's nice. That runs pretty good. Pretty good. Did you just say fart the? That's rude. Thank you. Buy an I-9 today. I play some fart the. It looked like the crew too to me, but I'm probably wrong. I do the next. 
I was playing Zombie Crush. I am queuing for a level 13 layer. for the day because of rain and it didn't rain yet. Man. I might have to just YOLO it next time. Coming here wasn't too bad. Windows 11 is cool. It is. You're using 11? Do you work for Microsoft? Because if you do, you have to tell us. You're obligated to tell us. It's like if you're a police officer, you have to tell us you're police. The start menu is better. Oh, yeah, the 10 one is definitely WTF. I still don't know how to search for files. Uh, yeah, someone lost their brain. Someone at UX lost their brain. Oh, that's a good combo. Deep coffee. Deep, 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 deep. I don't think the UX designers at Twitch have much of a brain either. What's up with UX designers these days? Are they all being hired out of community colleges and stuff? Or like, why so much level of suck? Not that there's anything wrong with community college. I'm just saying there's an obvious level of like inexperience. 
and suck. To suck. T3H suck. Hey, driving range. I guess this is a sunset. Today's sunset. Ah, it's only 3 p.m. Our zombie lair was victorious. Yippee! We did it. Oh wow, there's three of us in it. 71%. Dude, we can hit a 14. 14, 14, 14. <laughs> Progression. <laughs> Speaking of 14. Oh, max is 17? Wait. How is that calculated? Maybe just in our zone. I'm sending out a new guy. Actually, no, I'm not. This is a drastically higher amount of people than the past four months leaving this station. Hmm, <laughs> the uptime's a little bit low today, huh? Not uh, streaming long enough this week. Time the doors have ever shut on me and ever reopened for me. <laughs> You're contractually obligated to stream 12 hours per day without a day off. Actually, I am. I accept an agreement to do that once a month for the ad revenue. I need one more Varvera friend. 
track. Beating the last level in chapter 9 is super hard for me right now. I can't get over it. Maybe I'll try swapping this guy. This is kind of a lower level. I have not been able to use her yet. I think she's just an economy hero. Maybe not a fighter. Possible. actually be able to beat this. I've tried it like 15, 20 times. I've not been able to, holy shit, pass this level yet. These bosses are super strong. Here we go. Some lucky, lucky stuff. Oh! Come, come, come! Yes! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! 
Except at 8 a.m. on a weekday. What's the deal? Maybe life is back to normal here. Yeah, 
atas Wham! The axe smash Did we win that? We did win that. We beat a 14! No way, man! Cool. What do we get? Two star gear enhance. That's it? Where's my card? Where's my hero card? What? Scam. We don't want to do 14. What percentage did we win by? 50%? Whoa. Looks like if we're going for three star cards, we have to do lower level zombie layers. It just depends what you want. I'll do one more 13. Then I gotta find a bathroom. Play event tomorrow. Oh, 11 or 12, I think. Definitely not before that. Then I'll stay there till like 3, go home, get lunch, get cleaned up, come back out like 6 ish for night stream, cool party event. Then there's another one Sunday though, but different. They're, they're kind of different styles. Queued up a 13 rally. Join up for level 13. I gotta decide what to do, man. I'm finally feeling good, so it's like, oh, I should go to Muay Thai to finally feel good. And then I know after I go. I'm gonna be broken again. Sorry guys, no night stream. Muay Thai killed me again. I haven't 
been pushing hard. I'm gonna have to tell him no punching. And it's gonna be an awkward fight of elbows and knees and kicking. And just refuse to do any kind of arm swing. Part of it's the exhaustion, but yeah. Kinda can't cruise through it. I guess I did last time. They're finally starting to understand. Let's do a little gaming first, and then I'll go and get dinner, and then see if we can do something, although tomorrow will be very busy. Number one, nice play. Boxing session. Mm, it's about an hour there then half hour commutes, so all in all it takes me about two hours to do. Then if I want to go to the weightlifting gym. Probably another hour and a half. So three and a half hours of gym. Plus some GTL. And on another half hour. So it'll take me about four hours today to finish. Then I can come back. I guess they decided to turn off the AC in the lobby.
but I'm gonna have some uh, snacks here and stuff before I go. That's where I'll do a little gaming on my second channel first. CJ Walk stream. Level 13 was success. I think I got unlucky. I just didn't get a hero card. Just got my first level 70. Can you spend the whole hour stretching and kicking trees? Uh, yeah, that's what I wonder. Like, do I have to do a five round fight every time? Can't I just do like the other stuff and call it good? But no one does that. Everyone does a fight. Can I ask? Um, right. I mean, technically, because I paid for it, like I can show up and use the facilities whenever I want without needing a trainer to like work with. Like you can just show up and punch the bags if you want. I'll try. I think they'll just have me fight with no hands, is the thing. Is that better, though, to know how to fight with no hands? Because in real life, it hurts to punch something with your hand. better to elbow or knee anyway, <laughs> I guess. Good idea. Cyber Monday sales. Oh, that's next Monday. Mm. 
<laughs> Can I? I don't want to go to Kaosan. It's too dangerous. That's where the crazy people go. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's where the crazies go. And there's like... Yeah, I don't know. At least if you go to a club, there's security. If you go to Kaosong, there's no police or security. You're on your own. And there's crazy people. Okay, uh, I'm gonna raid Minx Kitty right now. She's live with Melee. Melee actually took her stream. I have no idea how this has happened. She was just talking in our chat. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and we'll do a CG walk for like an hour. Hopefully my Warhammer game is finally done updating. They have security? Oh, maybe. You know, there's just so many people last time, I, I didn't really notice, so maybe. All right, see you on the walk. See you tonight and see you tomorrow morning. Happy today, bye.